Are you listening? Have you ever thought about growing your own crops just out of sheer boredom? Now, I ain't talking about in a field, but maybe your porch or your backyard. Well, the, there's a company in D.C. that can help you do just that. In this week's Work In It segment, Matt Gregory found an urban farming company. Have you tried planting, I mean, really growing a crop? And we don't think that farming should be something that's this mystical experience. This is a company in D.C. that's main crop is farmers. We want to show you that you can do it yourself with just a little bit of help. It's called Love and Carrots, and that's a pretty catchy name. It started in 2011 with the goal of turning city yards and green spaces into little plots. And here's how it works. They come to your house, they design your urban farm, they build it, and then... We'll come by, do all the things that are involved in maintenance, and then also teach you how to garden. Today, Carly Mercer is teaching Young Lee... Try not to get too much soil on the leaves, because that's where all the fungus lives. These are the finer points of planting and planning. A black and brown boar, if it gets its act together. Four years ago, Lee's relationship with Love and Carrot started, and today they harvested some of her crop. There's beets, there's scallions. So this is lettuce, this is freckles lettuce, or flashy trout back, I don't remember which. And then this is butter crunch. Oh, and obviously carrots. But you can actually start in March, have like multiple successions of things going in in different spots of the garden if you know the timing of when certain plants come in and when certain plants go out. These urban farms they build have popped up all over the D.C. metro. Since 2011, they've done more than 600 farms across the city. You know, there's so much untapped potential here, uh, we might as well do something with it. Now, if you know a local business you want Matt to feature, let us know with the hashtag GetUpDC. I actually have a business I want Matt to